Hi, everybody. How are you? Um, we're going live now. Oh, we've got a list of questions. Oh, I'm sorry. So I have a bunch of questions, and we're going to start with those. But if you have a question, obviously, you should um, ask it. But we have some questions. I'm sorry I've been gone the last couple of weeks. You know, with travel, it's just been a zoo. And I fly on Thursdays, and I usually book my flights so that I can do live somewhere. Either I can do it in the airport, I can do it in my hotel when I get there, or I can do it at home. But I'd fly delays. And, you know, it's fine. But that's what happened. And so I'm sorry we didn't do it. But we're going to catch up today, right? So I have a list of questions. It's front and back because it's two weeks worth. But please ask if you've got one. So the first question is detergent stains. And it's funny. This is coming up a lot lately. And I think it is because um, I'm getting so many fun new people. Hi, Nikki. Give me one second. I'll grab it. I'm meeting so new, many new people. And I love it because, you know, you know I love soap over detergent. But if you're using detergent, that's all right. But... Detergent stains will come out with vinegar. Spray them with vinegar and water and just have at it. Oh, hey, kid, I'm glad you're on. Okay, what can I use to clean suede? Now, if it's a suede shoe or a suede bag, honestly, the easiest thing to do is sprinkle it very liberally with cornstarch and then scrub it with a suede brush. That is really the best thing to do. If it's like Uggs, you can use vinegar and water if it's waterproof suede. But really, cornstarch and a uh, suede brush is the best thing to use. The next question is red ink on a silk blouse. Actually, you know what? I think it was ink on a red silk blouse. But either way, I would use Amidex. Amidex is silk safe. It's totally fine. Um, several people lately have asked me about using hairspray on silk. And they've told me, I'll spray hairspray. Don't do that. Do not do that. The reason that used to work is we used to only have ballpoint pen and hairspray had alcohol in it. There's no alcohol in hairspray now because we've learned that alcohol is terrible for our hair. And that's part one. And part two is we're not really using ballpoint pen anymore. It's not ballpoint ink. It's gel ink. Just use Amidex. Please don't put hairspray on. It won't take, it, it just makes it harder to get it out, to be honest. This next one really broke my heart. Um, this grandmother had made her grandson a quilt and it had been caught in fire. Well, you know, grandmother's grandson, granny dude quilted. So quilts are kind of important to me. So here's, she asked how to get out the smoke and then how to get out the scorch. Well, tragically, you can't remove the scorch. The smoke is easy. Wash it in sudsy ammonia. Um, if you don't have sudsy ammonia, sudsy, go buy it, especially for smoke. Um, definitely sudsy ammonia. Uh, washing cashmere. Okay, this is so, so easy. Just wash it in soap flakes. Cashmere is great in soap flakes. And this person said, you want hair conditioner or soap? You always want soap flakes to wash your cashmere. What hair conditioner is good for is it's good for when you felted the cashmere. And... It's shrunk, it felt it. So the best thing to do in that case is soak it with hot water with a little bit of hair conditioner, stretch it back into shape, let it dry, and then wash it with soap. Always wash cashmere with soap. I can't just laundry bags that stained with mildew or mold, use vinegar and baking soda, the stains remain. Okay, for vinegar, you're gonna want, I mean, I'm sorry, for mold, you're gonna want oxygen bleach. Just wash them with oxygen bleach, easy breezy, Nikki, um, side hockey jersey, oxygen bleach. Do, under no circumstances, under no circumstances, do you want Amidex on that jersey to take out the ink? Oxygen bleach will be fine, but I would hand wash it. But it'll be fine. It'll leave the signature, but it'll take out the stains. I have this, there's this group of guys on the internet who collect jerseys, and they all think I'm like, you know, a genius because I can help them deal with like the authenticity sticker, the signature, and still get it clean. So oxygen bleach. Um, the best thing to do for pilling on leggings. Um, the best thing I would do 
is I would use a cashmere comb. Um, I'm going to see if I can get Sia to grab one for me. Um, a cashmere comb. A cashmere comb will take the pills off, but it will not wreck the fabric. Um, thank you. Mm -hmm. This is what they look like. See that? That's what they look like. So if those little teeth will pick off the pills, won't hurt the fabric. Um, if oxygen bleach is again at mildew spots on white clothing damage, is it just a matter of using a higher concentration? Probably, definitely, great name by the way. I don't know if you're using 100% sodium percarbonate or if you're using like a product you get at the grocery store. At that point, it's a much higher concentration. If you're using 100% and it's you've got white clothing dings, you might be using too much detergent. Oh, you're using 100%, okay. The white clothing dinge, I think you're using too much detergent. It's just not rinsing. I would add some vinegar. The mildew spots, I can't imagine. Maybe throw a tablespoon in a sink and soak them. I've never known oxygen bleach not to take up mildew. That's what I would try. Um, hmm, bathroom rug. Weird. Just try it in the sink. Just put it in the sink. Because the concentration will be much higher. Yeah. Um, the white dinge could very well be too much detergent because since it's on the floor, like everything gets on it. Um, pajamas transfer color onto sheets. Okay, this is one time where I'm going to mention a commercial product. Yeah. Carbona Color Run Remover. Carbona Color Run Remover will totally take care of this. Um, you buy it in the store. Do not buy it online. Believe it or not, it's counterfeited, which is hysterical. So, Carbona Color Run Remover, follow the instructions for me. Front loading wash my part. It still stinks after I use the vinegar. The cleaning cycle. I don't think I've done baking soda in the detergent spot. I would add um, borax. You need to do borax and vinegar to get that off. I'm going to stain and sit in by the dryer and have to boot. Tomato and blood, the mist. Start where they dry in the dryer. Um, yes, first thing I would do with the blood is I would soak it in the sink with some oxygen bleach. We just talked about it with definitely. I would do that. Um, the tomato stains, the best way to do it is put a little bit of oily soap on the stain. Like um, stain solution for the laundress or archipelago spot remover would be my two things. Put it on, sprinkle oxygen bleach on it, let it sit. It may sit an hour or two hours, whatever, but at least an hour. Then turn the tap all the way to hot and stick it under the stain, or stick the stain under it. And the force of the hot water mixed with those two things will take the stain right out. Um, what is oily soap? Well, I just said it. Um, I use stain solution from the laundress or Archipelago spot, laundry spot remover. What it is is it's thick, like it's the texture of dish soap. Do not use dish soap, but it's the texture of dish soap. And that's what oily soap is. Getting mold out of a jet tub. I have a couple of thoughts on this. One is you could fill the tub with hot water and dump in a couple of cups of cleaning vinegar. I rarely recommend cleaning vinegar. This is one time where I would and run it. That's one. My other thought is you could throw in about a half a cup of oxygen bleach, 100% oxygen bleach with the hot water and run it. Either thing, you just need it to cycle through so that it gets into the pipe and into the tubing and takes out the mold. Pet stains. Basically, this is pee, dog pee and cat pee. Mix up oxygen bleach, a tablespoon. Hi. Mix up a tablespoon to a tub of hot water and take a towel, dab it into the hot water, put the towel onto the stain, and then from there, put the towel onto the stain, and then um, it will basically kill the stain. So it's simple, but then take a towel with clear water, blot it and rinse, it'll be super simple. Um, fruit on a wool rug, okay, this one gets weird. You know how I always say you can't use oxygen bleach on wool? I'm gonna make an exception for a specific way. You can mix it up, tablespoon to a quart of hot water, but put it in a rug extractor because then it pushes it down and it pulls it back. It pushes it down and it pulls it back and it rent, then it will rinse. So what it's gonna do is it's not gonna let the, the wool 
It's not going to let the oxygen bleach damage the wall. It won't be on there. Um, soda on a white sofa. Scrub this with soap and a brush, but the real key here is going to be hot water, and you're going to blot it, 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 to rinse it out. Yes, definitely, it works. You just need to do it with a rug extractor. I'm not comfortable telling you to sponge it on and then rinse it, because if you don't rinse it thoroughly enough, um, you won't get it. But get a little green machine or borrow one. Fun fact, totally unrelated. Well, it's not totally unrelated. It's kind of unrelated. I write in house love about how I switched all my tools to one system so all the batteries were interchangeable. And I use Ryobi, and this is not a sponsored boast. It's just that's what I have to use. They just came out with their version of a like a little green machine that runs on a battery so it doesn't have a cord. So exciting. Game changer. Because then, like, if you're doing the stairs, no cord. It's amazing. Um, clean the vinyl straps on outdoor chairs. I am assuming that this is um, like tree sap or that sort of thing. Oxygen bleach. Just use oxygen bleach. I use oxygen bleach on deck because it's safe for the plants. Um, oh, I love this question. Okay. I love this question so much. In the recipe, in the house lab, for Molly Santa's whiskers, which you can also call those cherry shortbread cookies if you want, if you want to make them the rest of the year. Oh, they're so good. The recipe calls for margarine. And the original recipe did call for margarine, so I didn't switch it. I left it as it was written. Can you use butter? I substitute butter for margarine in every recipe except for one. And it's because the margarine goes in the frosting. And the frosting is supposed to be fluffy. And the butter doesn't make it as fluffy as the margarine. However, everything else, I use butter. Do you think you can use Amidex in a water solution to get ink off a bunch of Legos? I've been meaning to ask them, but maybe you have an opinion. I would put the Amidex on a towel. Yeah, we have a Lego store in the mall. In fact, it's like... If I were to walk, what, 15 feet that way and look right, I can see it. It has the largest Lego statue in the world. I mean, I can see it from, it's just, um, I would put the Amidex on a towel and just wipe them off. You could also use um, uh, the Amidex wipes if you wanted to. Stop using laundry beads, great, but a homemade solution with baking soda and some salt is so much better. It's not a bad alternative. I don't think it's going to work that way, to be very honest. Because what I think is going to happen, I think too much of it's going to rinse out. Okay. I mean, I don't think it's terrible. It's not. Gonna, there's there's nothing in there that's going to hurt anything. Let's say that. Um, the only thing, Amdex, or I mean Epsom salt. Will you email this to me? Will you email me where you found the solution? I want to see the concentrations. I'm afraid that the Epsom salt is not going to completely rinse out of your clothes. Um, I put the I put essential oils on a dryer ball, but if you don't put things in the dryer, that doesn't work. Um, the other thing you could do is you could fill a bottle with vodka, add a few drops of essential oil to make a linen spray. But please send me the recipe because I'm kind of curious about this. To be honest, it's preach at thelaundryevangelist.com. Okay, the last question I have here is how to clean your concrete countertops. I actually have, I'll get to you, Stephanie. I have two suggestions. My first one is I use vodka. I use vodka on my granite, but it's also fine on concrete. The other solution, if you want a little more, if I did it on the Jason show yesterday, it's rubbing alcohol, one part rubbing alcohol, one part water, with a few squirts of dish soap. The rubbing alcohol and the water, doing the cleaning, the dish soaps here, the extra little bit. The only thing about it is this one you need to use a, a wet towel with clear water and wipe it off, and you don't with the vodka. When we use the oxygen bleach powder, do we need it fully dissolved? Yes, you do. If it's not fully dissolving, just stir it a little more. Um, if you're using ours from the store, it's so fine. I find that it dissolves easily. Sometimes if you use other brands of sodium percarbonate, 
the grinds are much bigger and you have to stir harder to get it to dissolve. So what else do we have? We have a flurry of activity in the store today. I guess you can say that's fun. Super fun. We've run over, but I'm willing to, if we have anybody else have any questions, I don't want to miss anything. All right. Well, thank you so much. Um, by the way, if you live in the Twin Cities, um, it's definitely I didn't do a recording last week. I was trapped in an airplane, so I didn't do it. Um, but if you live in the Twin Cities, Max, who creates Murchison Hume, grab it. You all know that I love Murchison Hume. Um, Max, who creates Murchison Hume, is going to be here 10 to 1. So you can meet her, and that's super. Oh, I'm sorry, Stephanie. I didn't get it. Windowsill mold, I would do it with uh, vinegar. Um, what I would do is I would saturate a towel with vinegar, and I would just run it on there. And the mold should just die immediately from the vinegar coming right off. If you need to scrub with a little dish soap and water, good to go. But the vinegar will kill the mold. But I'm sorry I didn't see it. Oh, of course. Anyway, everybody have a really good day. Thank you so much. Thanks for liking the store. Um, 20 minutes is long enough. I wouldn't do 15. Dark spots from washed clothes. I just, I answered this right at the top of the video. That's actually detergent. Um... It's too much detergent. It's getting on there. Vinegar will take those out. So, all right, everybody have a great week. I'll see you next week. Bye. You are so tired.